all the cause of our unhappiness is simply wanting one side of life. When you want one side of life, you push out the other side and you become attached to one side, whatever that may be. And with all these attachments, pushing away one side and grabbing the other, you feel unhappy. You feel like there's something wrong. You feel chaos. Some people come into meditation believing that it's going to make them happy. Even the media, books, pass down information, is telling people that meditation has some unique way of making you feel happy. The furthest from what meditation truly does. Meditation, it actually doesn't make you happy. It makes you aware of the cause to your unhappiness. Because if that was the case, then the red pill to everyone's unhappiness would be meditation. Just meditate and you'll be happy. Don't worry about it. It wouldn't be anymore. Don't think about it. It'd be just meditate. If you start to meditate, trust me, you'll be happy. That would then be the cure. See, meditation, it can only make you aware of what's causing you to be unhappy. Maybe what you think right now is, because of my meditation, because the act of my day is better, because the act of I'm able to feel more alive and at peace. I'm able to feel happier. You may think that. But the truth is, you've gotten, you've gotten a taste of what it means to be outside your mind. And that taste of difference is what's making you feel, ah, uh, in the same way that when you, tr when you try something new and it shows you to be different, a feeling, and that feeling is of the judgment of positivity, you go, that's great. And you feel, ah, uh, from that. This is the same thing with meditation. You get one hint of being outside of your mind and now your whole focus is how do I just go outside of my mind and just feel this moment and just be here and be in this place like ah uh, how do I do that because that's what makes me feel happy thinking doesn't make me feel happy being here makes me feel happy so if I just get away from thinking I'll be happy and meditation is that avenue That's going in the right direction, but it's still a misconception. And the misconception simply is meditation is something that provides me happiness. That's the misconception. So why do I bring this to your attention? Because once you start to understand that Meditation doesn't make you happy. It just simply allows you to see the cause of your unhappiness. 
you'll start to understand that the effort of meditation is to not make you feel better. The effort of meditation is to not make you feel bliss. The effort of meditation is to not make you feel happy. The effort of meditation is simply to make you see, to give you the chance to be aware. And with more awareness comes more freedom. And with more freedom means comes more detachment from the mind's patterns. And more detachment from the mind patterns means that you can be more here in your body. And more here in your body means that you can feel more. And from feeling more, you can be able to live more intensely. And from living more intensely, you start to go that life was never about, life is never about meditating so I can come to a place of happiness. But it's about living life as it is. Not trying to pull from one side and not the other. But pulling from both sides. Going, I want the side of life that's like this, and it's opposite. Because if you really think about it, all the cause of our unhappiness is simply wanting one side of life. When you want one side of life, you push out the other side. And you become attached to one side, whatever that may be. And with all these attachments, pushing away one side and grabbing the other, you feel unhappy. You feel like there's something wrong. You feel chaos. But if you just allow both sides to be as it is, and you just wanted to live life as it is, as you feel, then you'll start to notice that all my unhappiness was caused by the grabbing and the pushing away. But if I never ever grabbed or pushed and I just allowed life to be as it is, something arises. And what arises is something that's much better than happiness. Because if you think about it, happiness is a judgment. Because happiness means something for everybody else. What arises when you just allow both sides and you're not grabbing or pushing is peace. A peacefulness inside of yourself. An undisturbance inside of yourself. And the more undisturbed you are internally, the more clarity you have internally, this is when you'll understand why meditation is so profound. Because meditation is not for you to learn to grab onto, to learn to push away. Meditation is all. Meditation gives you the chance to know that you are both. You are all. You are both sides of the coin. And the moment you understand that, you can see the coin for itself. You can be able to just sit here and go, I don't want the grab or push. I just am okay with what happens. I'm willing to just live this moment as it is. I'm willing to not grab on, attach myself to, become biased, but to accept, to allow, to be graceful. This is the difference. My gathering is coming up. I would say seminar, but it's not that. It's more of a gathering because it gives you the chance to be in the space with me and to connect more to yourself. 
And the space that I create for that allows you to do exactly that. Connect to yourself. Yes, I'll be talking about you in relation to women, but I always say who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women, which means that outside of women. So if you feel like you want to know more about yourself outside of women, this is for you. August 4th, 2018, this year, you have the chance. I see our spots left. If you want to know more about that, go below in the description box. There's a link. You'll be able to go there and you'll be able to find out all that you need to. This is the last one I'm doing for the summer here in Europe. I won't be back until next year. I'll talk to you when I talk to you.